Welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today is another tool video. It's going to be a quick video. Um, and if you're new from YouTube or any other place, this is your first time watching my videos. This is a free course that I'm teaching online, jobskillshare.com. If you go to jobskillshare.com, let me see if I can pull it up. So if you go to this link right here, um, let me make sure everything is correct here. Okay. So if you go to this link, you will see this right here. Um, small um, this course right here 2014 helped us support entry level to so this video is going to be under if you go to course uh, and then we go to all the way down to learning path right here and this is going to be on the left side if you scroll down and you go to my tools and it says cleanup and tuning tools so today I'm going to put um, let's say I'm going to put like a quick cleanup so what so if somebody asked me why are we doing this video so this is going to cover um, an example for example some user call you and they say that um, their computer is running kind of slow uh, I know there's not it, it doesn't look like a virus related problem or anything like that but it, is there anyone that can come and kind of clean up my computer or kind of like small small cleanup or quickly look into it if they can um, delete some files or uh, like you know temporary files and blah 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 whatever so it's like a quick video um, like let's say for example you just want to go there not don't want to spend too much time on it but you want to quickly do some stuff and finish it off in five minutes and then come back and okay computer is kind of a little bit cleaned up uh, it's running a little bit faster now um, so what do you do uh, in this kind of situation and uh, I use um, there are many 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 tools and some of them are really good some of them are not that good but I don't I can't go through each and every tool but I will go through the one that I use and it works for me and I close the calls if I get some kind of calls like that I call close it without any problems so this is what I'm going to show you guys today so let's just start with the tool uh, the video so this is my computer right here testing computer and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the the first thing that I do is let's say I am on the client computer for example I am on this client computer I'm going to fix this computer run these tools on it so the first thing I do is I use our kill and to do that let's just go together uh, and start downloading that stuff and everything over here would be portable so I usually keep it on a shared drive or on a USB so for example a computer is, is having a problem I'll just go and download it either I'll just go to the computer start downloading it because with that the benefit is that you get to use uh, uh, like an like, uh, updated new versions or if you have it on your USB and computer is disconnected from internet then you can also use that but I prefer doing this from internet because that's kind of like you know all updated stuff so so first thing I do is R kill just go to Google, type Arkill, and it kind of tells you what it does. Arkill is a program that was developed by this site that attempts to terminate known malware processes so that you're in blah, blah, blah. So you kind of like kill, look for things and make sure that there's nothing bad running on the computer and then just kind of give you a, a little bit free mind, you know. So you run it, it kills some stuff or it if it doesn't find it it'll tell you okay everything is cool you can go to the next process so let's just go ahead and download this our kill uh, tool and you go right here to the site and this is where you click on it you can click on this one and this is mostly used for wires troubleshooting but I use it just when I start my my cleanup thing too just to make sure everything is clean so I just I'll just save it somewhere let's just save it somewhere that we can find all these tools together then I'll just go to my documents and just make a folder here and say clean up alright clean up and I'm just gonna save it right there so this one is saved in there uh, let's just go for another one Google and then type TFC cleaner I love this tool because um, it might not be too good but it might be good but it, it, it does a really good job because what happens is that let's say uh, you're, you're cleaning a computer that is being used by so many people and they created like let's say there are like 10 profiles in there and, and it's being heavily used so this this tool uh, does a lot of job it, it will 
it will basically go through each and every profile clear some temporary files for all of this stuff right here and even the system root temporary files that you if you're do start doing it um, uh, like manually it's gonna take you a lot of time so it, it takes care of that too and I like that this is why I wanna uh, want you to go ahead and download it um, and it, it solved a lot of temporary files like you know some of the times there will be nasty files like you know some uh, uh, portable type viruses and it will go to your temporary files and it start doing some nasty stuff but it's easy to remove them but it's hard to find them because it's portable it doesn't give you kinda like exactly where it is so you just run this tool it uh, removes that temporary files or whole folder and then you're good to go um, clean up I'm gonna save that right there other thing that I want to tell you guys I don't go for too many tools you know just keep keep few but good ones two or three are good you don't want to run every single thing on a computer it just is, I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me it does, it's a time waste so you want to if this if this call was a quick cleanup video let's say sorry uh, quick cleanup call for you to just want to go there spend five ta five minutes and boom you're over because you know the computer is good the customer is having a little problem maybe that it felt that way that it's kind of slow and you just want to make them comfortable like you know oh you went there you did your job and now it's working awesome and it does it, it does clean some stuff so yeah if it's more than that yeah you, if it's more than it if it's taking you more than 20 minutes 30 minutes to clean registries and stuff like that as a help desk in uh, I, I i never do this i i would always go for imaging solution like you know i have fresh image i will keep your data backed it up and everything if if this is not a computer that is very important or something like you know i oh we cannot install all these files again i'm just gonna go for imaging i'm not gonna waste my time so uh the third one is cc cleaner it's also portable one i'm just gonna type portable cc cleaner and then just go to the cc cleaner portable and what's gonna happen is just start downloading cc cleaner here and save that over there too now you guys notice that i was talking because I, i'm, I'm kind of explaining at the same time uh, but in this process if I'm cleaning a computer for somebody I wouldn't be talking so this would be really quick for me just go and install these three things and then I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to close the browser so I, I wanted to make sure everything is closed before I start my cleanup process you know everything is closed right now all you gotta do is go to my doc go to documents cleanup and then the first thing I do is run our kill right here so let's just go ahead and run it and see what it does and it started looking for um, it doing its stuff, looking for something. If it finds something, it will terminate it. Checking for processes to terminate, and it's just gonna do its job right now. And uh, right now, it's telling me that firewall disabled and all that stuff. And it looks for registries. See if there's any problems. So let's see. We'll just have to wait for that. It doesn't take that long. It's going to take about one or two minutes. And then it will be over. So it just did its job, finished. You should not be able to run your normal security program so that you can scan your computer for infection. But like I say, we're not doing this for infection. We're just doing for a cleanup. We just wanted to make sure things are fine here. I'm just going to click OK. Now I can just go ahead and do my second step, which is this one right here. I'm going to extract that file so then I can use it. Well, you can use it within the that but I just wanted to make sure everything is working fine so and then if you're 64 bit you do this one if you're 32 bit computer you do this one the way you check it is you go to your right click on your computer properties and on the right here it tells you 32 bit or 64 bit so mine is 32 bit I'm gonna run this I'll just double click on it I'm going to run yes recommended and then I'm going to keep this check and I want to clean everything on this computer I'll tell a user I'm going to um, clean a computer so you might lose some of the things like recently typed URLs and if they, they're not okay with that you just uncheck this or you keep the check if they're okay with it and you go to applications and you will see if they have other browsers install other applications it will automatically pick it up and check all this stuff and then re start removing it so when you do is run cleaner or you can do analyze to see how much it's going to clean since this is a brand new computer 
nothing is in there it's pretty quick but you're gonna see something pretty big here if if, if you haven't uh, cleaned that computer for a while it could be a 1 GB it could be 500 MB a lot of stuff can be removed so you can run cleaner all you did do that and it clean that files then you go to registries and then do scan for issues and it looks for like you know applications leaving the DLL files or kind of some something corruptions in registry it's a good tool for registry too at the same time there are some better ones too but I use it with this CC cleaner so I don't have to keep track of so many tools so I just do this I'll just keep a backup in case something bad happens I'll just say fix all and it says issues fixed close it and that's done for CC cleaner so we have removed some temporary files some other files look look everything is looking fine and now the third option over here would be to just run the TFC now why I would say TFC because it also does the same thing as um, CC cleaner but it goes through CC cleaner just went through this profile that I'm on right now but what about the other profiles that I am uh, let me close this what about the other profiles that I'm trying to uh, clean up and those profiles are right here if I go to computer C drive users and you will see all of the profiles right here I want to clean their stuff too but I, I can't log into each profile one by one it's gonna take me so much time so this tool is uh, great for that so what you do is just uh, right start click right here and if it's a small um, computer with uh, with not nothing on it it might not ask you for restart but if it's something really big and it, it needs a uh, computer to be so you, you guys just saw right here that admin administrator and it's gonna go through each profile and trying to delete these files temporary ones and and trying to remove files and sometimes you might see a huge number and I I I kinda sometimes I even um, clean three to two GB files in there so you guys can see how powerful this is so it might ask you to restart your computer or it might just not ask you because it might not be uh, required so you just exit and now your computer should be running pretty good and tell the customer that restart your computer and um, if you want if you want to do a little bit more than that you can do but uh, but um, that would be more like deep cleaning you know or spending more time on it to make sure MS config you go to MS config right here um, and see what's running sorry config so then when you click on and see the startup tools and if you see a lot of startup that is not necessary for this computer you uncheck them or you can uncheck almost many of it and then what you do is uh, restart the computer so then it won't take that much time or tools that doesn't require for the user uh, it's not gonna run and suck up the energy for the, the computer so this is where you do a quick cleanup for uh, computers and uh, the calls that I told you guys you might get you might can get a calls again the calls will be related to like clean up my computer something is wrong it's not running fast it used to be running fast can someone come and look into it just look into it and this is this is how you would do that call okay I'm gonna be making another two videos so thank you for watching hopefully you guys learn something from it bye bye